Hey everyone, James Dow, back here with another knife review. Today we're checking out Smith & Wesson model CK114. I got this back in 2012 from Uncle Cal. He just moved here from Maine to California for a bit. And, or, you know, for as long as he was going to be here. And yeah. Zoom you guys out so we can get a little flick opening of the blade. It's not spring assisted or anything. It's a stiletto type blade sharpened on one side. Get it to focus right here. There you go. Dulled on the back of the tip. It's not sharpened on the tip. It's just dull. Pretty dirty. I haven't really cleaned it since I got it. Just used it. Pried on it, kind of used in you know, ways I shouldn't have. It's held its edge really well, hasn't cracked, chipped, nothing over the years. Model number right there CK114. Pocket clip. Like I said, it's not spring assisted. It's just a nice knife. Not too heavy in the hands. Before we forget, we'll take a quick measurement before I go flicking it and everything. You know? Um, from the tang of the blade. To the bottom of the handle, we're looking at about, I'd say about five inches. You know, close enough. Now with the blade open, oh, it didn't open right there. All the, it's, man, most of the time, it, yeah, it's one of the best blades to open. It's just, it's addicting. With the blade open, we're looking at about, shit, eight and a half, give or take. Eight and a fuzzy, close to. Eight and a half. Yeah. And that's full, you know, fully open. It's just great function. Every time you pull it out, you know you can open it. Like, yeah. And then it's got a little back piece right here. If you have more fingernail, right, you can really get it open. I can, you can still get it more than not. You just kind of got whip onto it. Or if you got looking at it at the ground, it'll really, you know, happen easy. Just a good blade. Just a great blade. Holding it brings back memories. I'd always carry it. Just, yeah. It's been to a lot of jobs. Yeah, it's just a great blade. It's done a lot. Seen a lot of barbecues. Seen some camping trips. Just a lot of days opening random shit, you know. It's a good blade. Really appreciate it when my uncle gave it to me because I was like, whoa, look at that, you know. I hadn't had one of these before. I'd had a Tanto. I'd had the drop point. I had just a, you know. Right, but this thing with that long little for me at the time I was like oh that's pretty long you know? cause right before that I'll show you not, this isn't a video on this yet but this will be coming up this is what I was carrying and this one was a it was alright wasn't nothing special it was just cheap just a cheap little blade but you know when I went from that right there to that I was like pa yeah this right here was just better at everything this thing yeah it's a good one though. It's one of my favorites too. But it's a little tricky to flick. Put that back to the side. But yeah, Smith & Wesson model CK114. Just a great blade. See it open that time. Not the fastest, but bam. And the way it opens too, it's just so smooth. It locks so just, it feels so secure. And so firm, like you know it's locked right when you've opened it, and you know when it's like, you know. A lot of the times, when you have a knife, when you open it, just the sound of the action of the knife really tells you a whole lot about the blade. And that, that really is the case with this one. So thank you to everyone tuning in and checking out this video. I'll catch you guys all next time.